uh, Victor from God Venturing. I'm Hunter from Hunter Davis Photography. And uh, we're coming at you here from the Arts and Crafts room at the South Pole. Some uh, pretty cool stuff in here, I guess. Yeah. Arts and Crafts. Yeah. You know. Um, now, as you know, we're wintering over this uh, this year, and what we have here at the South Pole is undoubtedly one of the best night skies in the world, right? There's no light pollution, obviously. We have the red lights going outside, so that's not really affecting anything. It gives us amazing stars. We can see the Milky Way, the auroras. It's unbelievable. Magellanic clouds. Magellanic clouds awesome. as well. Awesome to look at. Yeah, for sure. So, obviously, one of the big things that we do here is photography, mass photography. So, whether that be stills or one of the really cool things is time lapse, right? Yeah. And, which, by the way, this guy right here, the first time lapse you saw at the beginning of the video, that's him right here. Um, <laughs> who? who is that? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, if you want to do time lapse, you can't just put your camera out on a tripod in 90 degree wet, negative 90 degree wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah I wish it we was get rid of that. Yeah, we get rid of the negative here because it's irrelevant, right? So, negative 90 degree weather, the camera's going to die in about 20 minutes. You'll get 40 shots, something like that. Not yeah. much of a time lapse. Nope. So, what you have to do is you have to build kind of a contraption to, you know, insulate the camera, keep it warm, keep the battery alive, and everything like that. So, that's what we're going to do today. So we've got this uh, empty styrofoam box. We got this from medical. Um, I presume they ship medicine down in these things. So we're gonna take this and turn it into the exact same thing, um, pretty much. <laughs> but uh, it has a hole cut out uh, dead center. This is where your uh, lens is gonna stick out of the box, and your body and your frame of the camera are gonna be nicely uh, insulated on the inside. Uh, it's gonna keep it warm um, while you can do your time lapse or your photography like that. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, nice. and like I was talking about timing wise, uh, this will extend your battery, you know, from 20 minutes to six, six hours, seven hours. hours, depending on how much uh, insulation you have. Yeah, so uh, let's get started. Alright, so uh, now we have this box pretty much finished up on the inside. You can see we've got some nice little layers. The camera sits nicely on that spot right there. Water bottle, heating source, a bunch of other junk we'll you know, cram in there and really insulate that up. And now the last step, put some straps on it so we can carry it out. Well, so uh, here we go. We've got the box all ready to go. The camera's in there. Um, all the different layers, ready to insulate. And uh, yeah. Yeah. If you like going outside at 90 degrees and uh, you're ready to shoot some photography, do it. Let's take out for a spin. <laughs> Shoot time lapse at the South Pole when it's super extremely cold outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you for watching the video and thanks to Hunter here for helping out with filming, building the box, and all that fun stuff. Uh, make sure you check out his website at Hunter Davis Photography. He's got some really amazing stuff from here down on the ice and all over the place. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, you can stay up to date when we come out with new stuff. And we'll, uh, see you next time. Can we, can we make a joke about Nikon? No.